I mean, freshwater mussels are a very unique group of organisms because they have a very different reproductive life cycle than most others. So mussels are actually uh, obligate parasites, meaning they require a host that's not themselves in order for their mussels to transform into adults. Now most mussels in Pennsylvania will actually use specific fish species and what will happen is the mussel will actually either release what's called their glycidia, which are their larval mussels into the water and they will become insisted on fish gills and tissue or fins, or they will actually be actively recruit fish by um, developing things like mantle lures or actually capturing them and putting their glycidia onto them. Uh, the mussel glycidia will then remain insisted on the fish for approximately two weeks depending on the water temperature where they will drop off and if they fall off into um, suitable habitat they will actually transform or grow into adult mussels which then will restart the life cycle. Um, the, there's a couple of things that are very interesting as Me Nevin mentioned earlier some fish use things like uh, flathead catfish which was a state endangered crystal grip but we actually have another state uh, protected species known as the salamander mussel, which is unique because it's the only mussel in Pennsylvania that doesn't use a fish host, but rather the common mud puppy, which is one of our larger salamanders in Pennsylvania. So mussels have a very unique lifestyle and they've developed and evolved different uh, mechanisms through time, which has really um, led them to be a unique organism that we uh, are trying to conserve here in Pennsylvania.